afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm here today to review the market in the QQQs. Market gapped up today and is holding extremely strong. This is the low of the day in the market here, which is around 114.14, and I called the market long this morning. It was, it was an aggressive call because I did it very quickly out of the game, but I saw that it was going to hold. Holding the gap up. This is a gap up you could have bought today aggressively in the market. And when I made the call, it was right in here, and I said, put the stop at 113.75. You could be in this now with the stop at 113.90, but either way, this was a beautiful call with a nice entry. Target in the market is 115 today. And really, you're in this now all day. You could have bought some, taken some out into the first rally here in the morning, into 10.15, and you could be back in again this around 11 o'clock reversal time to rally up through to get to the next number, which is 115, 115.25, 115.50. So the market gapped up. Last night it closed at 113.71 and gapped up this morning at 114.24. So the market is extremely strong. And when we had this day, I said, expect us to rally now for several days. That's exactly what happened. We've rallied for several days since we held in the gap down here back on the 16th, which was Monday. And we will continue rallying now to the end of the month. And it looks like we're gonna make a new high in the market here for the year before the end of the calendar month of November in a holiday week, which is next week, which will be low volume for the market. But that is exactly how it's setting up. And I'm not surprised at all. Why? Because I've been calling the market long for the last several years. And I even said the market was still long when it gapped down in the anomaly day. So look for us to get over this high the end of the, before the end of the month, November. And we should even rally just from now until the end of the year. I'm not saying we don't pull back, but I don't see any significant pullbacks happening in the market prior to the end of the year. We're just gonna close strong this year, which is so interesting because a lot of people thought the market was not bullish this year, but I said all along the whole year, we were still bullish. We didn't even break the trend of the market in the gap down here. None of these gap downs broke the trend. The market was strong throughout the entire year. We were, you could have said we were neutral, but really we were still bullish. We were still in a bullish uptrend. Either way, we held all year bullishly. And a great call I made to see that we would do that and that we did that, and then this wasn't breaking the chart. And, 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 and I don't predict highs and lows at all, but after this happened, I said, boy, we're not gonna go back down there. And then people thought we would in here, and then we didn't, and we closed so strong, and look at what we're doing now, all right? So the bottom line is, let the market rally. Anything you're in that's a strong stock, let it follow through. We should see a nice rally into the close of 2015 in this market, which was bullish all along, all year. This We, we were bullish, so this is only new. Why people thought we were coming in or why people thought we were bearish or why people thought we were breaking is just because they don't know how to read trends. I'm extremely good at reading trends in stocks in the market, and that's one of the reasons I've made such a great call in the market here, even predicting something that was phenomenal because of the gap down that happened here. It's because I know how to read gaps. And because I know how to read gaps, just like the long I called in the market today, okay, I know how to read gaps bullishly and bearishly, and that's how I know Number one, what the stock of the market is going to do in the live trading day if you're a day trader, or two, if you want to go long or short in the longer term to know whether or not the chart is in an uptrend or a downtrend to know what to do with it. And it's all because of my gap rating system and the 26-point analysis that I know how to do it. And then I've made the prediction in the market here, which is, which is going to follow through and play out. And it, it is playing out. So look for the market to rally and make a new high before, before the end of the month. And it could be next week in the holiday week, or it could be when we get back from the holiday on November 30th, which is the Monday after the holiday weekend. Have a happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Have a wonderful, wonderful holiday week. If you're interested in taking the Golden Gap class, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.